We can trace our roots back to all the way till 1919 when there was the first Yale leader here at Fresno High. So that's really exciting. Um, and this is the first year that we've ever had a full year long competition squad. So in the past, some teams have gone to different competitions, but this is our first time ever having a full year squad dedicated to competing. Um, and it's been a really fun experience. Our regular squads will practice about uh, twice a week. Um, in addition to any games that they're cheering at. So right now for basketball, that's two games a week. And then these kids for our competition squad will go to additional practices two to three times a week, um, including weekends. Um, so they put in long early hours. Mornings. Early in the morning. Early mornings. <laughs> Very early. I think a lot of people have a very negative view of Fresno High based on things in the past. So I think us going out and putting in this dedication and having this drive to be successful is really bringing a lot of positivity to our school. I just know that when we perform at competitions and we win, like it brings so much glory. And that's what, like, I'm a, I'm a competitor. I want to win. I love to win. So you know, when we got first place at our first competition, I was like excited. We got second place. Now we got first place. It's just, it like, Makes you feel so amazing. It makes you feel like I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> to compete at nationals, you have to go to a regional competition and get a score, um, certain score to qualify for nationals. And so we went to a regional competition. It was really exciting. We were competing against a couple other teams, and our goal was just to qualify, right? Yeah. We just wanted to qualify. We didn't worry about what place we got. And so um, the first thing they announced is if you qualify for nationals, and we did, and everybody was so excited. And the, yeah. the kids were, um, they weren't sure how they did stacking up to other teams. And so um, it was a really neat experience because they were listing off third place and then they listed second place and we still haven't heard our name. And I just look over and I see them all. They're so excited and they say first place Fresno High School. And we just started yeah, crying. Yeah, we're just crying. Yeah. <laughs> we're crying and jumping. And it's it was just amazing. It's exciting. Like, yeah. I'm just, I just want to see the teams. I really want to see Yeah, them. I really yeah. want to see teams because, like, I'm scared, like, we we'll probably go against, like, 10 teams, and it's just, uh, it's just really nerve-wracking just thinking about it. And so I'm just kind of, like, going day by day about it. Yeah, and our, our outlook right now is that we made it to nationals, and that was the goal, and we want to go out and give our best showing no matter what and just enjoy the experience because yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the things I've noticed that our kids really enjoy is getting to know other teams, seeing them compete, cheering for them, and just soaking up that experience of what it means to be a cheerleader and being around other kids who care so much about their schools as well. Right. Um, and so we're going to be proud of them no matter what. They're making history anyways just by going. Um, our goal is, you know, let's see how far we can go. Just want to represent Fresno in the best way possible. Yeah. 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 We're famous. Junior, <laughs> come on. Are you serious? We're I am. No, we walk around with our city's name on our chest. Yeah, and it's, it's really big because like we're going to like different city and people are like, oh, Fresno, really? Because like things haven't been like heard from Fresno before, and now that we have this, it's just really amazing. Like when I go to the stores, people are like, oh, you guys are on the news, and you guys are going nationals, yeah. and it's just amazing. I was just like, yeah, mm -hmm. it makes me happy. I think it makes the kids feel really special and really honored and and shows that their hard work has really paid off. Yeah. I've teared up so many times when they tell us like, oh, so-and-so donated this much. And I'm like, I'm yeah. going to start crying.